How do you do? I'm Bill Graham, the maker of the Microlone Tissue Culture Kit, and we're here at Monster Gardens to tell you all about how this easy to use kit is going to be your new indoor garden tool. Tissue culture is basically growing small plants that would be too small to root on their own and we do that by putting them on a liquid media made with nutrients, uh, auger to hold it together, hormones to give it a direction to grow that's either going to be towards rooting or towards branching, and sugar. So sugar is what makes tissue culture work. So of everything you've seen, you've seen pressure cookers, you've seen filter rooms, we're in a filter room but all of it is just because we're using sugar. We want to make sure that the plant is the only thing in that environment using the sugar to grow. It's kind of a great way of being able to test your plants to see if there are diseases or foreign organisms on them is if we clean them properly and put them in the tissue culture media, any fungus or bacteria that's present will grow on that medium and it's pretty easy to identify as like milky, fuzzy, uh, everything that doesn't look as pretty and clean as it did when you first started. Let's kind of get started on um, what are the benefits of tissue culture? Why do you even want to use it? And there's two or three that are really important. Uh, the big one is going to be that we can make those new plants from smaller pieces, so it becomes a lot less necessary to raise uh, a full-grown mother plant to take all the clones from. And you will see through the explanation of the kit and, and particularly our tissue culture is that mother plants are really the petri dishes to all the diseases we're trying to get rid of. And the longer they're around, the more likely they are to pick something up, whether or not you see it or not. Uh, and certainly if you're going to clone that a thousand times, you are making your future. It's going to keep spreading. What we do is we just arrest that. We're able to stop it and do all of this work using veg plants instead of mother plants to give you all your new stock. We also have found that we got two really in, uh, interesting benefits that weren't even part of the kit that we started. We are eliminating viroids and systemic diseases that are always chasing the growing tips of the limb. So every time a branch is growing, uh, these diseases are in the vascular tissues and the other cell, the stem tissues, and they're always trying to chase the tip. And I mean, sometimes they are really just a hair close, and other times they're several inches away. The fact that the plants that we are going to put into culture that are going to create your new veg plants uh, are going to be started from pieces that may only be one inch tall, and in the future possibly smaller, we are simply out taking material that has outgrown the uh, viroid and other fungus diseases and making our new plants from it. That's going to take growers cleaning their tools with bleach water between cuts and their hands to keep it from spreading because viroids are going to spread by plant juices primarily uh, but you get a new plant that started with viroid free material you've got viroid free plants and we just keep doing that over and over again till the garden is clear. Number three, and this is the most interesting, is uh, the fact that we have frequent selection of the plants that are going to make the new stock. So when a veg plant has grown up to about so tall, it's really aggressive, it's shooting an inch a day. Everybody who's managed a table of veg plants and they're going in there to top them for the very first time knows exactly what I'm talking about. We're gonna take the tops of the very best plants. We've got 100 plants in a veg tray, and we're gonna take the tops of the best 35 and the rest of them are going to be topped and go to compost. We'll go back and visit those plants a few more times but that means the best material is making the best material and in three weeks in tissue culture and in three weeks in rooting we're going to be back topping that plant again. So we have a frequency of selection that is unlike anybody who has been growing mother plants. Everybody chose a great plant to be their mother but that was back in July or August, six, eight months, 10 months ago. And really, mother plants can't be over cloned. So we wanted to make this a frequent turnover system, put 
veg plants, tissue culture, and the incidental clones from them all together in one clean area that we will treat just like this clean lab space here uh, and not bring any more diseases in that space. The space is going to flush itself clear just like your skin. No plants get over six weeks old, maybe eight if you need an extra clone cut, uh, but everything will go on to flowering and when it leaves, everything that remains inside that space is going through culture, which is its own clean selection step and uh, are being sprayed and managed while they're on the shelf. Propagation is a vending machine for clean plants. Let me introduce you to the kit. And by the way, also introduce you to my favorite space in the building, my warehouse tissue culture lab. This shows you just how easy this is for you to do at home. First thing you're gonna come across is the instructions with the parts list. First thing out of the kit, I've got a tray of eight glass tubes, each one with a clear plastic lid. These are all autoclavable. The tray is autoclavable. These are gonna be the vessels you wanna use the first time. So as we get deeper in the kit, I'll pull out the ingredients for the tissue culture media that'll go in it. But I just wanted to go through the larger pieces too, uh, which starts here. Um, we also have about 50 of these four ounce polypropylene flip tops. Everything here can be pressure sterilized. Uh, these are wonderful because we'll put about uh, 25 or 30 mils of media in here. They'll be hardened with auger, if you excuse me for a moment, and it'll look just like that. So this is what you're making, this is what you're starting with. Uh, and um, as you get going through the kit, uh, I also include uh, 30 of these glass baby jar lids. These are included just because the large size baby jars are available at all the grocery stores. Yes, they're gonna contain baby food, uh, but it's usually not hard to find someone to consume them, ask around. These lids will fit the jars. These are a fantastic vessel uh, for three plants. When you start getting your technique so clean that you can put three plants together in one container and not be afraid that one is going to spoil and take out its neighbors. Start with single plant tubes to get to learn and then when your technique gets cleaner we'll be putting two plants in the clear plastic containers. And then we've got uh, the all the small components in the kit. Give you a turkey baster which will be fantastic for filling these tubes. We mix everything up That'll be great for getting it in there. Uh, scalpel, forceps, and blades. So for any of you, uh, you know, we've got these wonderful eight inch forceps. Here are mine. And we learned to use those from back here near the hinge so that we can reach down into containers like the test tubes and be able to plant things and remove them from back here without touching the rim. This is what your scalpel will look like when it's put together. Uh, be careful when you attach your blade that you don't cut yourself. Your kit will include media that you will mix up for your plants. Um, you know, remember these kits are made for a variety of plants. For our cannabis friends out there, you know, which, you know, about 50% of the users, uh, really, in your case, go directly for the rooting media. This is very easy to mix. This is a concentrate. This bag, plus this powder are mixed together in one liter of water, uh, add 20 grams of sugar, pH it to 5.9, and then use our baster to distribute it into the tubes and your first jars. The instructions are right there on the bottle. I have four different media you've noticed. So the, they're color coordinated. Red is for rooting. Uh, which is kind of my tissue, tissue ponic shortcut, uh, primarily for cannabis. And, uh, but for everybody else, or for the cannabis growers who are going to be uh, storing plants for a longer period of time, we will do that in one of the multiplication media. The only difference being is these are going to have the branching hormones, and this is, these are the rooting hormones. I've got three different recipes because and the kit is sold for a variety of plants. So that's four liters of media. Each one of these bottles will make 100 tubes or 50 of the flip tops. 
which is 100 plants. So one bottle of concentrate equals 100 plants. These are about 950, so it makes them just about uh, less than 10 cents per plant when it's finished. When you're mixing everything up, I've given you these easy to use little bottles of pH up and down. And for those without a pH meter yet, I include some pH papers. These are exactly the same nutrient pH corrections as, the, uh, as you would buy in the hydro store. So this is just like the General Hydro or, or uh, Grow More brands that you would have, just diluted with water to like half or about a third of their regular strength. We kind of want to dilute it so that one drop uh, will move the media about a tenth of a point on the pH scale. So if you've got your digital pH meter, it makes it easy to sort of be able to count that out. If yours is a little strong or weak, you can always add water to it. Save your bottles for reuse because these are extremely handy to have around. Kit will also come with several packets of our Dichlor Chlorine Sanitizer. So I'm going to uh, show you here at the table how to use these products to put plants into culture. These are the ingredients to make the media. This is the sanitizing crystal to uh, clean the plant to go into the bottles. And the rest of it will be the environment that you set up with the HEPA filter and the protected area. I wanted to let everybody, don't be intimidated by my fantastic laminar hood over here. It is absolutely not necessary. Everything we do uh, in the kit is done simply with a regular clear plastic storage container turned on its side. HEPA filter to clean the environment. The box is a still air hood to protect the plants. What I do is I'll just start with this little guy that you sent. And we'll just take off that. There we go. And then I'll put that in the cleaner. All right. And I'll take that guy and cut off that and that right there. One, two. Trim off the tip. And then one last little cut over here. That's that 45 everyone's looking for. So there's your little plant right there. There's my tube. I'm going to pick that guy up. Long like a spear. Tube. Into the gel. Guide it down. Perfect. Cool. So I wanted to introduce you to the plants real quick that are in the actual tissue culture containers. This is what it, you're trying to grow. These are the plants that were made by growing them on the multiplication medium first until they branched out and then we've moved them over to the red rooting medium. So these will root in just a few weeks and we'll take the, these out to plant them. This is what the plastic bottle looks like when it has the two plants in it. So really, that's how the kit works. Media, vessels, tools, instructions. You get a pressure cooker so that you can sterilize these bottles. An Instant Pot will, will do, and they're uh, at uh, Walmart and Target uh, for about $100 each. Eight quart, get the, the tall one so the tubes will fit. Or if you can, get the larger can size pressure cooker. Um, a HEPA filter to keep your environment clean. And this can be a grow tent. Most of the tissue culture labs are set up in a small 4x4 tent. You need the lighted shelves, just like we've got here. Uh, make your, leave one of your shelves open for a plastic storage tub so you have a place to work. We make the micro clone tissue culture kit so that you have the tools, materials, uh, instructions, and reliability of replication to be able to get your plants into culture, back out of culture, clean up your gardens, uh, make your uh, new plant propagation as clean and streamlined as it should be. This is the MicroClone Plant Tissue Culture Kit. I'm Bill Graham, and it's been a pleasure. Mm -hmm.